Hey guys, it's Drew for music that you might not have, may not have known about, and um, it's really early in the morning, and um, I'm kind of being really restless, and um, I decided to film part two of the music that you may not have known about vlog. <coughs> so, first thing that I want to do is, um, alright, the first thing I want to do is I want to show you a few things that I got recently. First off, I finally got this. Waited for a long time for this. Switchfoot Vice Versus album on CD. It's awesome. And you can see my review of that on video, which is really bad because I was really tired when I made that and I didn't plan it. But you can also check out my really good actual actual review of the album on, um, sadly, just no video for it, but just a good actual review of it on the website, so you can check that out. This is really good. Uh, second thing, I got to go to a concert um, for the band Mouth Breathers. It was a 7-inch release show for their um, new 7-inch on uh, In The Red Records, which is pretty exciting. And um, I actually got to meet people in the band, and I got it signed. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's really good. I highly recommend you mm, go to their website and buy this. The last thing is, um, I went to see um, David Crowder Band in concert, which was really amazing. Uh, I know what you're all saying, oh, he went to a Christian concert, yeah, stop it. It was amazing, and um, it was kind of the Christian concert that anyone could enjoy. And you know, as much as I listen to anything, that's kind of where some of my roots are. So, And it's one of the bands I kind of grew up listening to, and it's their final tour, so I had to go see them. And I bought their new album on vinyl, and it's super fancy. I highly recommend you check this out. It's um, a great combination of um, rock, worship, and dubstep. Yes, I mean it. And it's really, really good. David Carter Band, Church Music. And um, on, also, I got to, on that concert, I got to see um, three other people by the name of John Mark McMillan, Chris August, and Gunger. Now, I highly recommend you pick up their records. Gunger is an amazing Baroque indie folk band and Christian indie folk band. I have never heard anything like them. It's amazing. Highly check check that out, please. Go get it. <laughs> and um, Chris August, really good acoustic singer. John Mark McMillan and his band, extremely experimental, folky band. So, awesome. That's what I got. I think you should check all that stuff out. All right, so next part. Um, all right, we got some exciting stuff coming up on music that you may not have known about. First off, um, you may have noticed um, on the blog for a while there have been kind of error messages coming up, and I apologize for that. I finally think I got it fixed. Uh, I think it had to do with um, the Bandcamp album that I was sampling. But um, I think I got it fixed, and uh, if you if you notice that keeps happening, I haven't been noticing it, but if you do, email me so I can try and get it fixed. But I think I got it. So, no more bugs. Alright, next part is, so, um, sometime tomorrow, I will have an interview with a very special guest. I'm going to tell you who that is. Um, I'm going to get to interview the mastermind behind the blog, I Heart Local Music, which is a blog from my hometown, and uh, the guy is really nice. He's been willing. He's willing enough to take probably half an hour out of his schedule so he can talk to me, which is pretty exciting. So that'll be up tomorrow afternoon, most likely. So yeah, I'll probably get to talk to him tomorrow, which is really exciting. And um, I've been uh, talking a lot lately with. <laughs> You'll never guess who. Um, you probably know about him, uh, the Needle Drop, um, Anthony Fantano, really popular blogger right now. He's been nominated for an MTV Blog Award. He's won the YouTube on the Rise contest. He's been on the front page of YouTube. He's a good guy. And you know what? I've emailed him a lot, and we've had, like, little decent conversations. So, and if you would like to talk to him, go ahead, email him. He'd be willing to entertain a conversation with you. He's a really nice guy. So, he's, yeah, so, if you are afraid to, don't be. He's a nice guy. 
And um, last thing there is, um, I want to say, you may have noticed this, I we have a trailer up on our website right now for a movie called The John Dwyer 123, which is, yes, that is actually happening. I am making that movie myself. Um, that'll be coming out sometime later this year, probably, when I finish, whenever I finish it. And, uh, yeah, that's really exciting, so I'm making a movie on Garage Rock, which is gonna be really fun. Um, I'm, <laughs> I have about ten minutes of footage right now. <laughs> so, I'll give you more information about that when it develops <clears throat> a little more. So, yeah, that's really exciting, so think about it. Have an interview and a movie. That I'm making so a lot of exciting stuff and no more bugs so a lot of exciting stuff's going on around here and um, also I want to give you some quick reviews real quick of some stuff that um, I just want to go over and give you my personal liking of the record these are new records or rather older records but you know I just want to give you my quick opinion by rating them out of 10 stars and that's it and if you have a question on why that's rated at that level you can feel free to contact me. Alright, so quick reviews. Let's start. The new Family Force 5 record. Three. Three out of ten stars. And please note, I've loved Family Force 5's previous work, but this disappointed me so badly. Alright, next album. Chicken Foot. With their new album, Chicken Foot 3. 6.5 out of ten. Pretty good classic rock album. And it's a lot better than a lot of stuff I've heard in that genre this year. Pretty good. Alright, new Hani El Kati record. He's a blues he's a blues rock guitarist. Really great stuff. He's um very comparable to Jack White and um a thick freakness era black keys. Eight out of ten. And uh new album new Wilco album, The Whole Love, six out of ten. I didn't enjoy it. You know. Wilco's not my favorite band ever, but this is it's good. I don't have any I don't have any that many problems with it, but I just didn't enjoy it as much as a lot of people did, I'm sure. Uh, the new Jane's Addiction album, called The Great Escape Artist, uh, 6 out of 10. Enjoyable. Good rock album. Good return overall for Jane's Addiction. Uh, you should probably check that one out at least. It's pretty good. Alright, the new M83, M83 album, uh, Hurry Up, We're Dreaming. Really good. Um, one of the singles is uh, one of the singles is downloadable for free on iTunes right now, so I definitely recommend you get that. And I say 7.5 out of 10. Really solid electronic albums. Yeah. And finally, the upcoming Lou Reed and Metallica collaboration, Lulu, which is not released yet, but I'm gonna give you a pre-review because they allowed you to stream it on their website. 3.5 out of 10. 3.5 out of 10. You guys can do better than that. I was really disappointed. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just wanted to make this video real quick. A lot of exciting stuff is going on over here. A lot of exciting things are going to happen over here. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. I'm sorry that my voice is really, really scratchy. Like I said, it's really early in the morning and um, I'm just really restless right now. So thank you for watching, and um, yeah.